Babe, did you really just buy another figure? It's like $300. I know, I'm sorry, but trust me, I can explain. What's up everybody, Brick Artemis here. If it is your first time, then welcome. If you are a returning viewer, then thank you so much and welcome back. Today's gonna be a crazy video. We are gonna be talking about Hot Toys figures and other 1-6 scale figures. And just why in the world they cost so much and whether it's worth paying two, three, four, sometimes $500, sometimes even more for these toys. For these action figures, why we do it, why I do it, um, why I think you should do it if you're on the edge. But also, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what people might think we're crazy, you know, why we're crazy, um, the things that we have to go through while being a collector and enjoying the things that we love, what people tell us, just a little bit of that. So, yeah, $300, is, is it worth it? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. So here's my little collection here. I've got some figures, but you can definitely tell just by looking at some of these figures how much detail and love is put into these. You know, to, to make the price reasonable, I guess I should say, because the detail in these head sculpts, as you can see here with the Scarlet Witch, the, the outfits, Everything you get a bunch of accessories the hands even the paint on the hands the the cowl here that you see on Batman the the Batman suit everything about these figures here have so much detail and it's just unbelievable it's something that I was mesmerized by when I first saw these figures on display at a friend's house and I just I couldn't believe how realistic they looked. It was like somebody just took them out of a movie and placed them in a memory shelf or on a memory shelf. It was just mind blowing, uh, astonishing, and I mean, I, I can't, I can't help but just, just think, wow, how how amazing is it to have these figures at home? You know, you look at these display bases that they come with. So not only are you paying for the figure and the accessories, but sometimes you're even paying for a base such as this. I mean, look how it looks with the Spider-Man figure on the base. I think this is worth the $300 mark. Now, this one was more. It was about $400, but it's worth it. It's worth it to me. You get your Andrew Garfield. It has such a broad library, pretty much, that you can get so many different figures to add to your collection. So that's another plus, too, is the library. A Tobey Maguire here. You know, and again, on an amazing base. Look at this massive Sandman base. It's it's ridiculous to itself. I mean, who who would have thought that this much detail would go into a toy? A toy that adults would collect. And I, I can't believe it. I mean, some of these Spider-Man figures, the posability isn't always there. And a lot of people complain, like, well, if I'm spending three, $400, like, I should be able to pose my figures the way, you know, that Spider-Man should be posed. But, you know, I kind of look at it as, yeah, some of them can pose, and that's great. And some of them are a little tighter, and you worry about it a little bit more. But they have the suit accurate 90% of the time, okay? And the other times that it doesn't, that it doesn't have the accuracy, it's bothersome, but it's still good, great quality compared to anything out there, you know, that that uh, compares or competes with Hot Toys. So, you know, I look at these figures and I look at this collection, I look at other people's collections and I think to myself, how am I gonna tell my wife that I just bought another $300 figure? That, you know, I just bought another $400 figure. That I really want this figure, but it's, you know, another 280 bucks. How do I do that? Well, I look into this collection, I look at other people's collections and I figure it out. Because, like I said, these are like little memories on a shelf. We grew up with these figures. Whether it's from movies, video games, you know, cartoons. We grew up with these. Toys at home and our big toy box that we'd pull out and they'd be all scratched up and we'd play with. But we thought they were like the best versions possible. The coolest toys ever. Well, I'm here to tell you that Hot Toys has brought that to the adult world. 
okay? We have those toys. And they are the quality that we felt they were when we were like five, six, seven, eight years old back in the day. Now we have that quality in hand and they're not going to be all scratched up. We have that at home to collect. Look at the detail on this green goblin. This goblin is just amazing. The detail in the William Defoe head sculpt, it is licensed, so that makes it even cooler. Look at Mysterio's glass bowl here and the detail in his suit. Then you have the glider. You have the Green Goblin's glider that, yes, he can stand on, by the way. And he does have a flight pole. And there's just a lot of cool different, you know, poses that you can do with these figures. The detail here that you see in Jamie Foxx's Electro from No Way Home. All the electricity surrounding him with amazing amazing detail just nothing compares you know there are some competition out there now within the one six community that is is coming up and i love it for hot toys i think hot toys is is stepping up their game as well because they know they know there's competition out there and they want to continue to be that number one spot you know but the, the thing with hot toys is there's nothing else that pushes out 60 plus figures a year and still has this great quality. So with the nostalgic value, the quality, the shelf presence, as we can see here, even in my little shelves that I have, I have a Maji case, which is amazing, but I also have Detoffs. You know, I, I want a, I want a bigger display. But even with my display, if you look at other people's display, like the Jedi Knight's Watch, Deal of the Collector, Evil Sneakers, you know, if you if you look at Breda's or or Shane from One Six Figure Focus, just to name a few, the displays are just mind blowing. So the shelf presence is there, and to have these figures in your office, in your living room, your basement, you know, it's it's something to admire. To kind of show off when people come visit and they say, oh, wow. You know, they might ask you too, like, what the heck, dude? But I think most of the time people surprise you. I think you feel like, like uh, you know, your dad or friends are going to come over and think that. But really, they're going to see this and be like, wow, that's nuts. But, I mean, a cool thing here too is that they have figures from Into the Spider-Verse as well or, or other characters. And you can put them together. And you can pose them however you want. They come with multiple head sculpts. They come with this here, which is Spider-Ham, came with Spider-Gwen, which is almost a whole figure to itself. And they just look great together. Hot Toys does a really, really, really good job. And yeah, sometimes you get people like her. <laughs> you know, I, I like the show Hawkeye. I like Kate Bishop, but she could have been better. But it's still great quality. Now here we have some Lego. Lego's expensive too, guys. Lego's very expensive. And I absolutely love Lego. It's a personal thing of mine. And I love building on my personal time. But, and, and Lego does display well too, but nothing displays on a shelf like a hot toy. Now statues, that's a whole different ballpark. I'm going to have to watch a video on why $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 statue is worth buying, okay? I, I, need, I need that video. And there might be one out there, but... These hot toys here are still reasonable, in, in my opinion, especially for collectors at my status. You know, anywhere from $200 to $500, maybe a little bit more sometimes, I feel is worth it for this quality. It comes with a huge library, great quality, and, I mean, sometimes you do just get these hexagon bases. I thought I think she looks great here, Black Widow. I think, I think Black Widow and... Oh, man, what is her name? Um, uh, Yelena looked great here. And as you can see, just a lot of cool Marvel stuff. I'm a Marvel guy. There there are a lot of different figures out there, too. There's a lot more Star Wars that I don't have. As you can see here, I have some Star Wars. But, you know, I, I need a Mandalorian. I, I need some more Star Wars. But right here, you know, we've got Dark Side Anakin. Now, this figure, you can find him for about 600 bucks. You can find him for about 500 you know, and 
it's a good thing about hot toys too is you know you spend you know a couple hundred bucks on a hot toy and they have the opportunity to be worth more later and you know it's it's a i wouldn't say it's an amazing investment and that's not why i collect hot toys i don't collect hot toys to invest if anything i collect lego more so to invest but look at the detail on this helmet like look at the detail the dirt the scratches that is all just amazing art but yeah i mean some of these figures they don't do very well after you buy them it's kind of like driving a car off the lot and it's not worth any more anything anymore but some figures you know you get something out of it and when you get that figure that you love and you buy that figure that you absolutely love and it ends up being something that is worth something then it, it's it's almost like a proud moment like yes i was the only one that liked this figure at that time and now it's worth something but yeah these these figures mean a lot to me and you know just just the nostalgia feel too like these figures mean the world to me so to be able to look at these figures come into my office look at these figures and admire them and think about my childhood growing up or even my early adulthood even even going and seeing the movies now with my kids such as the light year figure that i showed it just means the world to me so three hundred dollars yeah yeah three hundred dollars is worth it to me Guys, if you like this video, just something real quick, you know, is is it worth it? Basically, that's what the video is about. Is a hot toy worth the money? And if you are a person out there who is on the fence on buying a figure, I would say do it. Get a figure that means something to you. Get a figure that, you know, you grew up with, with that character. And... And then let me know what you think after you buy that, after you unbox it. Now, if you're like, no way, then don't buy it. Because you're just going to, if, if you're if you're like, Ugh, nah, then don't buy it because you're just going to sell it, trade it. You're not going to keep it. So I wouldn't even waste my time. But if you're on the edge, I would say, yeah, jump into this hobby. Love to see you around. So, um, yeah, and and that's pretty much what I tell my wife, too. As you saw in the video. Now, obviously, I am not my wife. But um, that's what I tell her when she asks the question. Another figure? Obviously, put bills first. Put your kids first. Put your family first. Don't put yourself in too much debt. But uh, have fun with the hobby. Don't stress over the hobby. Don't collect just to have it. Don't collect just to have what other people have. Get what you love in your collection. And everything will work out. Guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next videos will come. And until next time, keep bricking.